of that TV out of there. Got it here in the cart. So it would have been, I want to guess, a 45 inch. And we're going to put a 50 inch in there. So let me go get a tape measure, do a few measurements, and we'll proceed on with this bad boy. But uh, good day, everyone. Hope you're all having a great one. We're hanging out here at Premier RV Sales and Service in Junction City, Oregon, just doing that thing. Getting ready to actually go save a coach in Indio. Going to do a fly out service bust out of here for a few days next week but so look forward for that good content don't forget to subscribe thanks everyone that is subscribing but uh, let's get this show on the road all right so i got some paint drying right now for the front tv and now i'm back here to the bedroom tv just dropped the washer so this is the factory tv bracket to get it out use a long screw tip Pull these out across the very top, right below the audio video equipment. You could just screw that to this, but the TV is shallower than the last application, which therefore would make the TV sit back here like this, not flush with the opening. So make a couple spacer boards, screw the spacer board to the back of the TV, screw this, on after you've screwed that to the TV then screw that piece to here makes all the numbers exactly the same and then your TV sits flush now some people would say why not just buy a TV bracket from Best Buy's because it's a pain in the butt it can rattle this that the other and so on and so forth so the plywood method I'm gonna finish this up Get this TV in here, and I'm going to get that TV in the front finished up, and then I even get to throw a satellite on the roof. So, we'll kind of give you a little bit of that. We'll do another a day in the life. All right, so I've skipped a few steps. The new TV is in now. It is uh, getting all fired up, as you can see here. Hello, and welcome. Please download the SmartThings app on your mobile to start TV setup. Now we've got the digital audio ran out of the TV into the home theater system. So that's how we're getting the audio out of there. Let's skip this stuff. Oh look, Brian's Hero 7. to get anything out here at 13 local channels already all right so in the bedroom we were working on that back there and it's already to slap that TV in just got in trouble assuming things so I assumed that this height from here from here to here was the same as from here to here but it's not so we've come in notched out the base of this real quick I had actually uh, Chris from the condiment shop come in take care of that for me because I got way too much other stuff to do so I'm gonna get this rear TV slapped up in there and get this front TV all finished up this coach is actually in a video walkthrough that I did already I'll put a link in the description down below if you wanted to watch the whole tour of this coach before we got done doing the TVs and satellites. I think that's the only upgrades that we really did on it. It's got some Clarion head unit already in there that's substantial for the customer that's buying it. And now it's got some new front TVs in there. It's gonna get the, the satellite antenna put on the roof. All right, I'm calling it a day. I am not 100% done on this coach. But I know that I'm done enough that I'll be fine to button up a couple things in the morning. So the only thing I really have to do is make a new black panel here. The Pioneer CD changer was obsolete, so I pulled it out. I'll make a new panel and then I'll put this, kind of cut this out and then install it in there so you can see the AV selector so you can actually 
still have the label that says antenna cable because that's your antenna cable selector and then I'll cut out a nice notch for the wine guard traveler TV is all done that's gonna be the 50 inch as you can see here on the sides it does hang over just a little bit and then it goes all the way up to the top now in there I've actually put a piece of wood painted it black in behind there and then I've got a black strip down under here so that way when you look in it looks all nice and clean because I've like we said yesterday or in vlog two that I always put a gap here so you can still hear the speakers out of the TV not everybody wants to have the remote and all this stuff going on the auto video side this will end up getting a new trim panel more than likely once the customer brings his receivers in because it looks like somebody I don't know how well you can see that but it looks like somebody hired a beaver to cut that out to make that Sony fit in there so like I said earlier in the video I'll put in the description down below the complete walkthrough of this coach so you can see all the good stuff get details on the couches and what have you the bedroom is all done here all right so TVs installed like I said I had the cabinet shop come in Put a nice little notch in here then that way that tv can kind of hang low but it doesn't obtrusive get obtrusive in the window view it's only as you can see that much lower than it previously was so tv's all done back here we'll get the satellite receiver installed here once the customer brings it if he's got them coming when he does his pickup and then right here we've got this uh integra receiver hit the wrong button decided it was going to eject and that's all done so it's a good day here beautiful weather outside can't complain a bit spring in oregon so got that light off there those lights are all off i'll take you up on the roof real quick and show you that traveler install go over a couple things there and then i think we'll have this video all wrapped up all right, thought I'd give you a good high view. So as you can see, that was the stock satellite location. No snow goat. And that is the new traveler location. Now one thing to note is you got to mount those a little bit further back than when they're in their rest position because they actually move forward as they go up. But there's plenty of room in between those two air conditioners for that. As you'll see, my black wire running across the roof. That's going to be all sealed up with sealant so that's all done satellites installed now I do not use the screws that come with that satellite I only use a screw that's a wee bit longer you get too deep into these roofs and the wires aren't too far below that fiberglass and wood skin they're on the top layer of that styrofoam so I had cases in production when we had a company that came in and installed these track stars where he was putting too long of screws in once and actually damaged those wires. And this particular room is where all these walls were made. So we came back here and actually showed him the route out channels that were in there. So this is the storage facility of Premier. As you can see, all the lights are off in here. This is a brand new building. So it's got all auto motion LEDs in it. So, hey everybody, I wanna thank everybody for hitting that subscribe everybody for doing those comments and hitting the like buttons but i think that's a wrap on the day till next time hope you all have a great day and enjoyed this video don't forget to throw some more comments down there on if you're liking this vlog style stuff and if you want to see some more specific things but a big shout out to everybody thanks again bye bye